Hi guys and welcome to the next episode of my van build series. Welcome to the channel if you're new here and all my returning subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. In today's video I'm going to be preparing the floor ready to lay my flooring. So first things first, I've had a haircut as you can tell. I look a little bit like a boiled egg, especially in this lighting. So I'm sorry if I make you hungry. Just had a parcel turn up, so let's see what's arrived. I can't remember what I've ordered, so let's open it up and have a look from China. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's definitely from China. It's just a battery isolator. It's nice. I've been ordering bits little by little so I don't feel it so much coming out the bank account. This is the original ply flooring, so it's got lots of imperfections in it. Um, so it's important that we spend a bit of time now just filling all the holes and making sure it's all smooth, as I'm gonna be using vinyl flooring. And I've broken it down into five main reasons why we've chosen vinyl flooring. The first one being weight. We feel it's one of the lighter options out of, say, laminate flooring, vinyl, you've got tiles, or carpet, I think they're your main options. It's really important in a van build to try and keep the weight down where possible, as if you go over the rated limit for your van, then you could end up getting fines, plus you're carrying around all that extra weight, so it's gonna cost you more in fuel. The second reason we chose vinyl comes down to cleaning and keeping the van nice and tidy. As I'm sure most of you are aware, vinyl flooring is really easy to clean. You can use a mop to mop it out, and you don't have to worry about the water going through to your subfloor. So that's my third reason that vinyl flooring is completely waterproof. If we seal around the edge of the vinyl as well, and then there's no chance that water can penetrate through to our subfloor and rot the wood or the metal. We've had enough trouble with rust on the outside of the van, we certainly don't want it from the inside as well. The laminate flooring that I stripped out of here before had all blown where water had got down into the grooves and it hadn't been sealed. And also it was laid on top of carpet underlay so we had a lot of movement there which allowed the water to get into the cracks and dirt as well. That brings me on to my fourth reason, which is the ease of installation. The vinyl is just gonna be one sheet in here. It's gonna be nice and quick and easy, and we should have a nice result at the end of it. And then my final reason comes down to price. I got a pretty good price on this vinyl flooring. It was 100 pounds to do the van. So I think that's pretty reasonable in the grand scheme of things. So without further ado, let's have a look at the flooring samples. I show you where I got the vinyl flooring, and then we can go about preparing this floor ready to fit it. I ordered my vinyl flooring from Online Carpets. They've got a large selection of different vinyl floorings, mainly domestic grade, I think. I'm not sure they do industrial. So I just went for a domestic vinyl flooring. You can choose up to six free samples um, and they were sent to me within a couple of days. So let's have a look at the samples and I will show you which one we chose. See if you can guess which one we went for. One, two, three, four, five, or six. As you can see, I had to put these discs in here where the anchor points used to be, and we've got this ridge around the edge. It's a bit of a sharp edge, which may damage our vinyl, so we need to fill this and sand it smooth. We've also got some holes here. They need to be filled couple of patches I had to put in there where the floor was damaged and another one at the back there where the gas locker was leaking. These boards don't quite line up so we've got this sharp edge here that needs to be sorted before we can lay our vinyl. If we didn't sort out this floor and laid the vinyl directly on top of it as it is, over time this sharp edge here may wear through the vinyl flooring. As you can see there's a bit of a lip there. Also, if you've got any holes in the floor and you lay your vinyl on top of there, say for example, someone came in with a high heel, that's gonna pierce straight through that. So we don't want that. I doubt that anyone's gonna come in here with high heels though, so. I've also installed this oak threshold here between the cab and the back of the van. This is from an old dining room table I got off the selling page. I'm gonna be using the tabletop for the worktops. And this is a strip that went round the edge of the table and I'm gonna be using those as finishing pieces like this. 
um, and that also gives us something to finish our vinyl flooring up to and then we can put a nice seal through here to make it all watertight and i think that's going to look really nice once it's varnished and we've put a nice smooth edge on this so the first job is to try and line up these boards in hindsight i should have put a batten underneath where the joins are but i didn't so i'm gonna to have to put some screws in at an angle to try and tie these together at the right level Try and get a screw in there. That's better. I use the general purpose car body filler for filling the cracks and the holes in the floor. And that's just because it's slightly flexible and it's easy to sand. I've sanded down all the body filler now, so all the joins are nice and flush. I just need to get rid of all this dust now. I've hooed it out, I'm now just gonna wipe it over with a damp cloth to get rid of any remaining dust. As you can see, this is quite an important step. There's still lots of dust left behind. Right, all the joints are taped up. It's time to get this floor in laid. So let's go and get it. So if you guess sample number four, you'd be correct. We went for the light oak color. So I ordered two meters by four meters of this lino. Uh, I think it was actually two meters by five meters to take the order up to 100 pounds. So I've got a bit of extra. I also ordered some vinyl adhesive spray and some carpet adhesive spray just to get that order over £100 so it was free delivery or else you'd be paying £20 delivery anyway so you may as well make the most of it. Brand new blade in the knife. So to start off then I'm just lining up this top edge the factory cut edge with my oak threshold as you can see that lines up nicely and in this corner I'm just lining it up with the edge of the van down here and I'm gonna cut this out for the wheel arch and then we'll be able to push that side down and then we've got to work on cutting in this side it slightly smaller so there's a little gap around the edge and that's just so we don't get the lino gathering in the middle so it's better in this case to cut it slightly smaller as you can see it lines up nicely with the oak threshold it's a slight gap here but i'm going to be i can even the spacing out when i come to glue the threshold down really like the floor i think it looks nice So now it's simply a case of using this vinyl spray adhesive to glue it down. I'm going to start off by folding this side back to the middle. Get my spray adhesive. It says it's designed to fix vinyl and lino to wood, stone, tiles and concrete. So it should be ideal for this. I'm 
mop just to press it over to make sure it's all flat. Just filling up the holes in the threshold. It was a table before, so it requires a little bit of filler. For this oak threshold, I'm going to be using some of this Osmo Top Oil. I've heard really good things about this product, so I've always wanted to try it. And here we go. So that's with two coats of Osmo Oil. I'm really pleased with the finish. It brings out the colour of the wood nicely. It's water resistant and hopefully it should match in with the floor as well. Take this down. Well, it's very lightweight now. I'm going to use some four-way stretch carpet to cover the inside of this cupboard here, and then some lino to go on top of here, just to neaten it up a little bit. cupboard is now lined with four way stretch carpet, grey matching the headliner and it's also got some vinyl flooring up here inside the cupboard just to line it, makes it easily wipeable. I finish off by insulating the cupboard with some leftover Celotex and expanding foam. Thank you for watching this video i hope you found it useful and you enjoyed watching it if you did please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you click the little alarm bell you'll get notifications when i post new videos and hopefully i'll see you next time cheers guys take care there we go we can look at the new flooring whilst listening to the banana engine chugging away 